Uh, welcome back guys. <clears throat> this is going to be a video dedicated to Debian. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because I I love running Debian. I like I, I do like the challenge of getting it set up, although I think that um, the folks over at Debian could make the desktop distribution a little bit easier for the average person to configure. Um, this this computer that I'm uh, currently running on um, is Debian and it has a, a Broadcom Wi-Fi and NVIDIA graphic card neither of which are easy to configure within Debian now if you have an Ubuntu distribution it usually comes with the uh, additional drivers app and you can uh, configure your NVIDIA card and your Broadcom Wi-Fi card pretty easy not so with Debian and now I don't consider myself um, an expert nor am I a beginner I, I actually tried a, a Linux many years ago um, many many years ago uh, when it was just starting off and the Debian version was really as far as I can remember was all that was available so I had to learn a lot of configuration back then and it, it never did get a whole lot easier which is why I kinda gave up on it and started using Mac but um, since I've come back to it I can see that they have made uh, uh, huge strides um, improving the configuration and the user interface but I believe there's still work to be done especially when you compare configuring a Debian desktop to configuring a Linux Mint desktop for example uh, there really is no comparison Linux Mint you can get up and running extremely quickly right out of the box with most hardware in uh, Debian that's not the case especially as I said I uh, struggled with the uh, Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers and the NVIDIA graphics drivers so out of necessity I developed my own um, way of configuring and I documented everything and I'm going to share that with you in case you do have a Broadcom Wi-Fi or NVIDIA graphics and let me see if I can pull up that file okay so basically to configure Broadcom Wi-Fi within I don't want to make this too big but uh, within Debian to install Broadcom make sure you have contrib and non-free to your sources that has to be added to your sources then you're gonna do sudo apt-get update once you modify your sources to refresh your package list and then f for me what started out as a multi-step process is down to one uh, terminal command sudo apt-get install broadcom-sta-dkms once I run that command and I reboot all of my Wi-Fi networks are available to me then it becomes just like a Linux Mint select your Wi-Fi network enter the password and you're good to go so that I have simplified drastically to add the NVIDIA drivers you make sure also you have to have contrib and non-free in your sources you're going to do an app get update and then you're going to enter this command here now I'll put this in the sh show notes for you but basically 
you're installing the Linux headers and the NVIDIA kernel. That's command one. And that one's going to take a while to run. Once that's done, you're going to type another command, sudo apt-get install NVIDIA xconfig. Okay, that's a, that's a package that you need to uh, add in so you can run that to conf configure your xconfig. Um, file. So it's sudo apt get install nvidia xconfig. Once nvidia xconfig is installed, then you will run the command sudo nvidia xconfig. It's going to rewrite your xconfig file so that your graphics are con configured within the system properly and then reboot. Once you reboot, you will have the nvidia I'll see if I can get that up. Keep in mind this is a Debian system. You'll have NVIDIA X server uh, con configuration. You can see that I have the NVIDIA 340.65. It's not the latest uh, NVIDIA driver for my graphics card, but it is leaps and bounds uh, ahead of the um, open source driver that comes normally configured uh, and I forget the name of it but this runs much better smoother games run better so uh, so I'm happy so that's your um, configuration of your Nvidia and I'll put show notes in so you can uh, try it if that's something that you want to do uh, and this is just by way of information I this is the package that I'm running uh, I'm running Voyager Debian Linux Voyager X Debian Jesse it installs very easily um, if you saw my video on the Ubuntu version of Voyager you'll know that uh, you, you'll see I explained all of the various features that they have added that are not run-of-the-mill and this panel along the right which is not run-of-the-mill and I I went into these this in more detail in my other Voyager video so if you want to take a look at that if you're interested you can take a look at that everything that I mentioned in the Ubuntu version is available in the Debian version but one of the, um, I'm not sure how you guys feel about about uh, Debian. Um, back in May, I posted a question to Linux.org, and I my question was simple: Why are some distros harder to use than others? And basically I said I've tried several different Linux distros some are stated to be for new users some are stated to be for intermediate others are stated to be for advanced users the only difference I can see is the amount of frustration involved getting everything set up and working drivers for example are easy, easily configured in Linux Mint and Ubuntu yet with Debian it is so much more work Broadcom Wi-Fi and NVIDIA graphic drivers are a good example plain Debian struggles with both yet so-called beginner distros have them working out of the box. Why is that? So my question is why are some distros deliberately made more difficult to set up? Is it because advanced users enjoy the extra work involved? Is it because they love frustration? Wouldn't it make more sense to make all distros equally easy to set up your system, hardware, etc.? I guess I'm having a hard time understanding why anyone would go through all that crap with plain Debian when Linux Mint or Ubuntu would get them up and running so much faster. Okay, so I got a few um, responses, <clears throat> but basically uh, I was told that what I see as essential options other people see as bloat. Not everyone needs Broadcom, Wi-Fi, or NVIDIA. Um, Debian as a server would not likely need many of those options you crave. And then they go on to talk about the free system versus non-free components. And then they talk about the value of 
learning the distro. So my response was, I see what you mean, but why is there not a version available if Debian wants to attract desktop users? Why is there not a version available with a driver manager help to help people over the rough spots? And I put and I answered, I like to learn also, but it would seem to me that my time would be better spent actually learning the Linux command line interface than searching for drivers online. Locating those drivers is not always easy, and it would be nice to have a bit of help up front. Then once our desktop is set and all devices are functioning, we can get on with actually learning. The frustrating part is when we think we've located the answer to our problem and implement it incorrectly for lack of experience, we then have to do a full reinstall. It's hard to learn on a non-functioning desktop. Creating a functional desktop for the average user should be job one. The lack of it drives users to other distros. I believe that Debian should hold on to those users and not lose them to another distro. And of course I got some other responses, uh, basically open source. So, and then I went on to say that I, I do see where Debian has made some improvements over the years, but my, my opinion is if Debian wants to have desktop users, then set up the system for the average Debian, the average desktop user. Because the average Linux user is going to have a heck of a time setting up a Debian system. I don't think that that uh, does anything for the Linux community overall. I think it frustrates people and it sends them back to Windows or Mac. So that's my two cents. That's my opinion. Uh, as I said, I'll put the notes in the uh, show notes uh, on the commands that you would use within Debian to install your NVIDIA drivers and your Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers. Uh, rate, subscribe, and uh, comment, guys. <clears throat> and I will see you next time. Take care.